My name is Seth Peterson and I'm a professional yo-yoer. In 1998, I entered my first yo-yo contest. It was the first time I'd ever really been around a lot of other yo-yo players and I got second place. And it was one of those things that just kind of clicked with me like, hey, I'm good at this, I should keep doing it. And since then I've competed at a world and national level. Um, in 2004, I placed second in the nation and eighth in the world. When you are yo-yoing, when you're playing with the yo-yo, it takes a a lot of concentration and focus. What's going on in their mind is they're going through this road map, basically, or this, you know, subway map of, if I do this with the yo-yo, then I can get to this place. You know, I, I can, the yo-yo can mount on here, and then I do a somersault, and it'll take me to here. And it, it's basically memorizing patterns and, and formulas of what does what with the yo-yo and the string and how it interacts, and you're all you know, you're concentrating on all these things and you also have the amount of time that it'll spin. So there's all these factors that, you know, once you're, you're actively doing it and getting familiar with yo-yo and how to play, there's an incredible amount of focus to, to remember all these different things and factors that you have to keep in mind because the yo-yo just doesn't yo-yo, you know. It's the person who, who has it in their hand that's doing it and telling it what to do basically by, you know, the muscle memory of, if I move my hand this way, the yo-yo will do this. To say a yo-yo is a creative outlet is kind of an abstract idea. Uh, but the, like, the truth of the matter is you're, you have a, a tool, like whether it's a paintbrush or a pencil or a computer mouse, you have something that you are manipulating and, and expressing. Yo-yoing isn't something that takes a special person or a specific way of doing something. Like, anybody can pick up a yo-yo and do cool tricks with it. Like, that's the fact of the matter. Like, there are, you know, yo-yo isn't discriminating on anything. Like, if you pick one up and you put it on your finger, you can yo-yo if you just put in a little bit of practice. And I think that's the thing is like, if you want to get good at it and you want to do something with it, like it just takes that level of dedication to say, okay, like I might not be able to do everything now, but with a little bit of practice, I can get there.